everyone welcome to fame world educational hub myself ashwarya saxena and today in the series of php and my sql we are going to start with a new topic with a new file basically and it is file 11.php we have studied about if else we have studied the conditional statement if else we have studied conditional statement necessary if else now here i am going to elaborate an example of if else and it is a program of voting so we know the condition for vote is that uh, in india uh, that after 18 years means the age should be equal to or greater than 18 years then only a person can vote for that we are going to create a program so for php file we just have to create this code php and now i am just giving heading um, say h2 and here i am just giving uh the heading say eligible for voting so here i am just giving the age of a person i am making a variable age equals to say 12 and we know it's the thing that the person is not eligible but we are going to make a program for that to check if a person is eligible for vote or not if the age is greater than or equal to 18 that is the age should be equal to 18 or it could be greater than 18 then eco person is eligible for voting and else if this condition is false then just print the person is not eligible for voting yes this is the program and it's enough now we have just started the tags and uh, i have closed here the php tags now i am going to the browser to check if the things are going well or not this is our ram server and here i am going to the folder php and mysql the folder where we are saving all the files and this file is file 11.php i am just going to the file 11.php and i am opening it now you can see person is not eligible for voting yes it's quite simple as the age is 12 and we have given the condition uh age no sorry greater than equals to let's echo the age here the age of the person is so it will be easier now here sorry sorry yes we missed the age and uh, the age is 1 and uh, we want it to be some 18 above now as we have checked the condition for not eligible now we will check the condition for eligibility so we are giving the age like 19 say sorry yes now you can see the age of the person is 19 person is eligible for voting it's quite good yes it's quite good and we can just apply some fonts here font color equals to say blue say size equals to 20 20 yes now and we can also give the font face so you can see that we can apply all the html codes here easily as we have applied in html and here the age of the person is this and we can close the font tag now here let's come back to the file first we have started this font tag and now we have to close it so for that i am just removing this dots and all because we have started double quotes and it's inside the double quotes so no problem is there so we will just close the font tag and after that we will put the br tag for next time let's refresh it and check if it is coming right or not yes it's accurate so the size is too large actually the brush script empty font is 
not supported here so we will try some other font let's try some another font I hope this font will work if not then we will yes it's working comic sans font is working so we will just give some smaller font size and refresh it yes now the age of the person is 19 now let's change the age make it 11 the person is not eligible for voting give the size 6 and again I am applying this font face on this too. Again, here also we are applying the font tag and I am just changing the color from blue to red here to make the difference. And again this font here with the color red or we can give it green here whichever color you like you can put now you can see the age of the person is 11 person is not eligible for voting again if we want to put some colors here also we can give that i am just removing it and uh, removing the size also we can just change the color blue or we can give brown and uh, as heading tag is applicable here just want yeah you can see so let's put it to the heading one i'm just making the formatting changes you can do it on your own you can make another things with it and uh, you can check it's the best practice if you check the code by your own because if you ch make the changes and do it by your own then you learn new things and it is very important unless and until you try the things on your own you will not learn the new things it's very important to try the things on your own system i hope this program is clear to you we have made a very interesting program for check checking the eligibility of a person to vote yes we have made it and you can also make it on your system while running the code by typing the code and also try to make some changes so you will know you will get to know that how they, those changes work thanks for watching share the video with your friends to let them know what the new things you are studying and also to help them out in the contents if you like the video tell me how is the video in the comment section if you are having any queries please put the queries and the suggestions into the comment box for me to work on it if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed the channel yet, I request you to please subscribe the channel and press the notification bell because after pressing the notification bell, you start getting the notifications of my latest uploads. I usually upload two videos per day on this channel and this channel is loaded with a huge amount of computer science and information technology videos. If you are a computer lover, you are at the right place. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.